ABC's Managing Director Mark Scott joins us now from Sydney to talk about the news we have uh, told you this morning about the closure of the 50 ABC shops around the country. Mark, good morning to you. Good morning, Michael. Why is the ABC doing this? Well, Michael, um, the business has changed, and I think we all know that. The, the basis of ABC shops for a long time has been CDs and DVDs, and to a degree books as well. These are all, uh, this is all content that's now migrating to digital downloads, and our projections are the ABC shops in this last year have been operating at a loss, and all the advice that we have had indicates that it would not be possible for us to be able to run a chain of stores like this profitably into the future. And we can't be in a situation where we're taking money from broadcasting and investing that in to prop up a retail business. So we've run them for 35 years. I know millions of people love shopping in them, but it is not possible, and all our advice has been, that it's not possible to run this chain of stores like this profitably into the future. Uh, you make a very important point there, Mark Scott. The shops are very popular already. Twitter has lit up with yeah. criticism, as you would have seen, fierce criticism of this. It is going to be a very hard decision to sell, isn't it? I know, it is. Um, last night we spoke to 300 of our staff who work in the shops and wonderful people, of course, their jobs are threatened by this decision. Uh, but their first instinct was of concern of what customers would say, because we know people have loved these shops. But we've got to be responsible here, and our responsibility is that we, we cannot take money from broadcasting to prop up a retail business. So we're looking at other strategies. We will absolutely continue to deliver ABC Shop Online. We will look to find partnerships with other retailers, so there might be branded sections in their stores that sells ABC uh, content. So we still want people to be able to get the the CDs, the DVDs, the books, the children's content that's been available in the shops. We just need to find other ways of delivering that to customers without running our own chain of 50 stores now because we're not going to be able to do that without marking up significant losses in the future. Our thoughts are well as well this morning, very much with those 300 staff, our fellow ABC colleagues. How many of them will lose their jobs? Well, um, it, it, it's a grim outlook for them and they understand that. Uh, we, we have provisions uh, in our staffing agreements here to look for redeployment, but there will be many of them who won't have immediate jobs with the closure of the stores over, over the coming months. And so um, uh, we'll be looking after them as best we can, but there are 300 people who work in our shops. We're looking at a phased exit. Um, the shops are still open today. We expect that most of them will be open through Father's Day and very many of them will still be open at Christmas. But when leases come due, you know, we have to make decisions. Can we see a scenario where you could sign a lease for another four or five years for these shops? And, and we know we haven't been able to do that. So really, over the next 12 months, that's where we're really going to see the shops closing down. OK, well, so we're clearly talking about significant job losses and therefore significant redundancy costs. Where is the money coming from for that? Well, we'll be funding that redundancy cost through the future earnings of ABC Commercial. The ABC has a significant commercial business, of which the retail business is only part. That commercial business has returned $120 million to the ABC over the last decade. So we're not going to take any money from broadcasting to fund redundancies. We're going to take money from, we're going to loan it from, borrow it from the future earnings of ABC Commercial. That's how we'll cash flow it. So mo no money going from broadcasting to fund the costs of uh, wrapping up this retail network. Just to clarify a few questions our viewers are asking us this morning, we're talking about the 50 shops, but of course there are lots of uh, so-called ABC centres within commercial bookstores. Are they closing too? Yeah, the current model of ABC centres relies on the shop network as an underpinning, so we need to relook at the, that centre agreement. But, but over time, we would like there to be branded ABC outlets in other stores, and so we will be talking with other retailers about that over time. What about the uh, flagship ABC, ABC shop at the ABC's Ultimo headquarters? I assume there's no rent paid on that one. No, there's no rent paid on that, and I suppose you know we still will look to find ways of people uh, being able to get merchandise when they come to the ABC headquarters in Ultimo. But again, they're decisions that we'll be looking at in coming months. What we're trying to do with this announcement today is to give our staff as much notice as possible. We've now got to enter into negotiations with the shopping centre owners and to let our customers know what's happening. But we are open for business, and uh, most of these stores will be open through the balance of this year and into 2016.
Now, of course, this is a very difficult time for the ABC. As we all know, it comes on the back of the Q&A controversy. While you're here, Mark Scott, I've just got a few questions about that. The Prime sure. Minister wrote to uh, the Chairman, Jim Spiegelman, about a week and a half ago saying that he'd lift his ban on coalition ministers appearing on that show if Q&A was moved to the ABC's news division. How is that not political interference in the ABC's operations? Well, um, I must say, if you look at the history of the ABC, there's been many a public figure, many a politician, many a Prime Minister that's had advice for the ABC and the ABC board. Of course you expect that. But the ABC Act is very clear. The responsibility for the operations, the management, these programming decisions at the ABC, they, they lie with the management team and the final responsibility for all that rests with the ABC board. So there's been lots of commentary and lots of views around the Q&A matters, many a media column and a newspaper full of information on this. But finally, the decisions will need to be made by the ABC board. The ABC is independent. That's enshrined in the ABC Act. And, and I can tell you that the response I've had is the public, public knows that the ABC is independent and it wants the ABC to be independent. So finally, it's the independent decision making of the board that safeguards the independence of the ABC. And as you point out, I mean, this move has been under consideration internally for some time. Do you worry, though, that if the move was made to put Q&A under the new news umbrella, it would be seen by many as the ABC capitulating to an often hostile government? I don't think we should uh, preempt the board's deliberations on this. You're right, it has been considered in the past and at times programs move from division to division and sometimes we create new divisions. Uh, but, but I think the public should be reassured that the factors the board will take in mind is not what commentators or politicians have said. The board will be considering what is best for the ABC so that we can deliver our charter. The board sees itself, and I'm a board director too, the board sees itself as trustees for the Australian people. It's the Australian people who own the ABC and these eminent Australians who serve on the board they are trustees for the Australian people. So the board will safeguard its independence. The board will make the right decision for the ABC and its audiences in this matter, as they will in all matters. And, and, and just as they have made, I think, the appropriate and the right decision at the right time around ABC retail. And just finally, Mark, of course, as managing director, you have copped a fair bit of criticism in, in recent weeks and months over various controversies. And there has been lots of speculation, as you know, about your position. Will you serve out the rest of your term? That's my intention, uh, certainly, Michael. I've, I'm, I've contracted here uh, through uh, 2016, and there's a lot on our plate. There are some big decisions, like the big decisions that we've, we're focusing on today, and that's where my attention's been, and that's rightly where my attention should be. Okay, Mark Scott, thanks very much for joining us this morning. Thanks, Michael.